One day, a client from a small village, Tittmaringhausen in Sauerland, Germany, walked into our office and said, Christoph, I would like to have a round house. It turned out that the client had two reasons why he wanted his house to be round. First, when he was sitting down during the construction phase inside the circular walls of one of his biogas plants, he was fascinated by the fundamental effects of the space. Secondly, from an energy efficiency point of view, the surface volume proportion should be ideal. This was crucial because he planned to heat the house with the heat being produced by his bioenergy plant. He wanted to give an example to the whole village, how to heat locally, save the money and to be eco-friendly at the same time. The house which became the company headquarters was going to be the first link of a local heat grid. Three years of local heating grid existence. As had you thought at that time we would manage it so good? Not at all. To be honest, I had been one of the most skeptical. I can still remember it. The topography of the surroundings, in particular the slope of the mountains, were echoed by the shape of the roof. In addition, the landscape was drawn into the building, forming lodges and balconies. The interaction between the inside and the outside is the key concept of the building, since it reflects the client's close relationship to the place where they live and work. The facade of the house is of particular interest. From time to time, the client brings stones from a nearby creek that he finds during his walks and mounts them onto the facade. This leads to a constant change of the external expression of the building. On the one hand, the house adapts itself to the environment, while on the other hand, it transforms the surroundings and the village in a unique way. The supply and disposal of the building is due to the biogas system self-sufficient, therefore off the grid. Meanwhile, through the exemplary ecological nature of this building, the whole village decided to connect to the local heating grid of the farm. There were 12 of us at the very beginning and when it happened to work, the others joined us automatically, although they had grumbled about it before. By becoming independent of the global market, energy costs were significantly reduced. Now we have saved about 150,000 fuel oil or even more. 500 tons of CO2 have been cut down, it means 20 lorries of CO2 that only in this small spot of 190 inhabitants were saved, all thanks to the local heating grid. We had an energy day in our village last year. There were hundreds of people visiting the plant and the headquarters to be informed about our heating grid. At the moment there is a plan to expand the grid to the next village. They also want to gain profit from it and make something for the environment.